dropping in to Route 66. I haven't rode this trail too many times. But, you know, we're trying to cover every single trail on some nice longer berms from what I can remember. But the brake bumps get pretty hectic. So it can go pretty hard on the arms. Got some nice jumps. Fairly big though. This is definitely a step up from Might As Well, which we covered in the last video. If you haven't seen that video, go give it a watch. Let me know what you think. I also want to hear what you guys want to see. So if you have a trail in mind from Sun Peaks and you want me to ride, let me get it done for you. Scenery around this trail, as all trails on it at Sun Peaks is amazing. Flowers. And then you're kind of weaving through Keener here, which is a black trail. Definitely be covering that one. It's a fun little guy. Cruising. Might be a little bit puddly at some point. Had a nice rainfall the other day. It's a fairly large drop there. So watch out for that one. Definitely not rollable. Oh, it's a fox. Hey, buddy. Did you see that? All right, dropping into the next section here. Woo. Some nice berms. I don't know this trail extremely well, but I've ridden it a few times here and there. But this series or whatever is just trying to, gonna try and give people a little perspective and show people some of the trails that we have here on lovely Sun Peaks. Nice little opening here. Yeah. Oh, it's actually running real nice. I mean, yeah, you got a few little spots with brake bumps, a few tight corners. She's going. Oh, a little bit bumpy through there. Yeah, and obviously I'm gonna put more effort into the trails that I love. You know, I'm gonna get the camera out, get some of the, some of the jumps on cam, do some tricks, have some fun with it. But these ones that I don't ride as much, I'm gonna try and just document them for you. Do a little ride through. Show you what you're gonna have to expect going into them. Definitely a big step up here though from might as well. Make sure you're nice and dialed on that trail. Before, if you take it easy, this is super chill. Not many jumps, but yeah, a little bit more steep at some sections. These berms are delightful. Look at that. Whoa into this tight corner. Watch this one. It's a bit low. Bottle. Woo. And obviously on some of the tracks that are real, real fun, I'm cutting into kind of steam shovel here. I'm gonna try and get the boys out to ride with us. Oh, some bigger jumps. Did I miss the turn on? No. This cuts in. See, this is Steam Shovel, the bigger jump line. I'm really excited to film that trail for y'all. Real muddy through here. Here come the bumps. All right, you, again, we're crossing with Keener. Staying on the blue, staying on Route 66. All right. See, this is where it gets a little intimidating, you know? You're crossing the lift, so you got some weaves right under the lift. So if you take a tumble or whatever, there's gonna be some people watching. Here's where it gets super bumpy. So watch out for that. Kind of kills the arms, but it's running a lot better than last year. Here we go under the chair again. Let's try not to mess up, but it's also good. You know, if you're trying some gnar going quick, trying to show off, Give someone on the lifts something to watch. A little bit of rock through there. Watch that, I'm sure, on drier days, 
that gets super, super sketch and sleek. Probably a little bit of a sand pit over there. And this is where it gets a little weird. It's actually uh, quite, quite fun right now, I'm not gonna lie. You can really get some speed through here. A couple bumps you have to really break for, but corners are running good. Not many puddles as well. It's always a good thing. And you really have to lean into these corners, even when they're flatter. Make sure you're leaning that bike, pointing those knees in the corner. Really helps. Oh, here we go. Nice corner there. I can see how you could easily just fly over these things though. So watch out for that. Right there. Oh, nice into an open section. A little ski run here. Phew. Yeah, I hope I'm getting these angles dialed. Got the chest mount. I kind of want to get that chin mount, get her going. I feel like chin mount's the best. Whew, coming out in the camel line finish here. Wow! Now my friends, this is the end of Route 66. Now you'd have to finish it up with a candle line, which is more similar or even go into like Resurrection, which is more of a techie trail. But I'll see you guys at the bottom. All right, so end of trail review on Route 66. Actually, it was way better than I thought it was. Like, it was, it was running great. I had actually kind of a blast on it. We recommend. Um, I mean, if you're only here for a day and you don't have time and you want to ride some gnar, probably just leave it out of the picture. But if you're looking for a nice little kind of chill blue, Hit it up, bro. Hit it up. That's a that's a dope little trail. It's fairly close to being from the, all the way at the top to the bottom, but not quite. You have to kind of cut into one of the other trails, but it's a nice little ride. The brake ones weren't even that bad. It's pretty easy on the arms. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, anyways, I guess I'll see you tomorrow for the next trail. If you have any trail requests, always put them in the comments. Love to hear it.